Hey everyone, Pat here again. Um, so today I want to make another video showcasing uh, a little bit more of the dungeon game uh, project that I'm working on, and uh, and show some of the further improvements I've made to the uh, to the, like the tooltips and the functionality for all this. Um, so as you can see, I kind of changed the level around a little bit. I built a little bit more of a level, and you can kind of I can kind of walk through it now, and I can find all the chests and everything. Um, now. I added um, chest uh, nameplates for whenever you go to the chest, and I don't remember if that was already in the video, I, I can't remember, but um, when you go there now, it's going to start dropping items, and each item is going to have a, a new tooltip that I that I just recently um, finished up today. The, um, the items now, uh, as you can see, each tooltip is like uh, different. The whites are different than the blues, they have a different style, um, and they're all set up like right now to where it's the text isn't filling in all the way completely because I haven't set it all but um, the item name uh, is set on a master on a master uh, class of the of the of the basic um, actor that's in in here so where it's getting that item name goes here is it's coming from a parent basically of these items that are on the ground and so I can name them and then they'll all say an item name goes here based on that parent. Um, same with the rares. Some of the rares, uh, most of the, actually, yeah, all the rares in the, in the commons don't have, I don't have any specific actual um, uh, gear items yet, so they don't have any names specifically. And so um, so that's how that's going to go. But they do say like rare chest and um, it'll say, uh, you know, rare boots. If I hover over the boots, it's going to say rare boots. Uh, same with these common boots versus uh, common helmet. Now the items um, are still kind of like scattered around on top of each other and I've been trying to get that set uh, like um, program to where it won't do that anymore um, but I haven't had time to get it done. Um, like this says common pants and common gloves and stuff so those are those are kind of all like that. Now I'm gonna keep going through um, the drop percentages aren't too bad on this. I turned them I turned them down a or turn them up a little bit so that way um, you can actually, I can, hopefully I can get some legendaries and some, um, or they're not called legendaries anymore. I decided to change the name to Royal, uh, based on a friend of mine. Uh, we were talking about, about, uh, names and stuff and, oh, look, we actually got one. This is good. Right off the bat. I can't believe that. So we got, um, a new one and this is a, a Royal Mace. Um, this is one that I've actually filled out the information for and it's a specific item. Um, it, it, it is one that I, that I've made, all, you know, all the information for it, um, and I've, and I've done, um, I've had, like, a document, I have, like, a document that has information about specific items and stuff, so, this is, um, this is one of those specific items. Um, and, as you can see, the tooltip item, like, the name, ta uh, frame plate there is much more, um, elegant than the older one was. It's uh, larger than the common and the rare. So as you can see, the rare goes starts as the smallest nameplate, and as you get larger, or I mean, as you get uh, you know increased in rarity, it um, it gets larger by a little bit. And so this rare one's a little bit larger, as you can see there. And then it com jumps up to what we have here, the elite pants. Now the elite pant the elite pants, the item tooltip uh, nameplate is a little bit larger than the rare. It's kind of hard to notice it when you compare the two, but it's there. It's a little bit bigger, and these ones don't have um, names either because um, I also haven't filled out very many of the actual epic or elite items. Um, and they, there might be one that drops that actually has a name. We'll see. I've only got like two in there that have names right now. Um, but again, they're not going to have information because I haven't went through and really created these specific items to and and set their information yet. Um, uh, so yeah, and this, um, again, this, this is like, this is like the highest quality, the, the royal, uh, and it drops down to the elite, the rare, and the common. So now, we're going to keep going, and I got to find all these, I can't even remember, remember where I put them all, but, um, we're going to get, we're probably not going to get the greatest luck with all these drops, um, I don't even know, I think I may have, yeah, I got that one, I don't think I put one down here. Um, keep going over here. Now oh, there's one in this area. Let's see if it drops an item that's nope, just crap. And 
<clears throat> Keep going here. I put in a couple lights, kind of give it... Ooh, that's kind of weird. I have a gap right there. I didn't realize that when I did the navigation. I, it still worked, but it's kind of weird. Um... So we'll go ahead and um, keep going. So now we got some Elite Gloves. See, this one has a name. And it's because I named it. Um, this one is one that I had made from before. And I, I already had it already had the name and everything. So I just didn't change it. And the Epic Chest. This one might have it. But it's, um, it's not wanting to pick it up for some reason. I think that's because um, it doesn't have... I didn't change. Yeah, it says Epic. It's supposed to say Elite. And the reason why the tooltip's not showing up is because the title, the type of the item is being checked when it goes to show the tooltip. And if the tooltip, um, if the item's type, this Epic part, if that doesn't match um, what I have it checking for, which is Elite, then it won't show a tooltip. So I have to go back and actually rename the chest to say elite, and I just kind of forgot to do that for this, for this before this video there. Um, so this is a this is an this is a royal that doesn't have a name because I added it later, and so these are going to be royal boots. Now this is just taking its again this is taking its information from the master like royal item, and um, and so all the boots will be children of this master item, and they'll be. Uh, all named and specific and then the names will show up and now as we go I'm sure I'll find more of the actual royal items that have have names I think there's about six or seven of them that I actually put in that have names um, and here we go here's dormant grips again e elite helmet this one's gonna say item name goes here because uh, it wasn't it was set up properly to show the tooltip um, rare pants again you know, these are all the basics. I'm hoping I can get some more legendaries. Uh, or, I keep calling them legendaries, but they're actually royals, is my is my terminology. I'm just so used to using that legendary word. Um, here's a royal sword. So this one has an actual name. Um, sword, of the, sword of Dark Powers. This is another one that I've made. Um, I have documentation on it that I'm going to be putting in. And it actually already has like information and, and stuff that will go with it. Um, the, um, the elite gloves, the elite gloves, and these are just basics again. But, uh, again, yeah, so these, these tool tips, frames, um, I spend a lot of time working on these. This one here is one of my, is like my favorite, definitely. It looks the nicest out of all of them, I think. Um, I like the rare one a lot, too, but I tried to put some of that nice, like, quality, uh, ornamentation on each one and, and have them all be different, um, as you can kind of see as you go through, the, the ornamentation is all a little bit different. This one's the most grand and uh, and uh, and and really nice looking. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I missed one. Yep, there's a chest right there. I may have missed a couple, actually. I don't know. Royal Mace. There's Fury, Guardian of Truth again. And then those. That one's the one that doesn't work. Um, I hope I can get a couple of the other, the other um, Royals. Helmet, offhand. Those are all going to say like that. Uh, okay. Now there's a chest here. And that one's just going to drop commons. And commons. And this one here. Ooh, look at this. Just commons now. We've only got a few more chests left, honestly. Uh, we'll go down here and check these. Maybe I'll get one more cool item. Ooh, nope. Just commons. It's going to be bad. Not gonna get any good stuff for the rest of it. I'll have to hit the restart button and go back in to see if I can show off some of the other actual royal items. See if they'll show up. Um, these are epic. Or I mean, elite pants and elite elite boots. Um, and here's another one. So this is the last hope of souls. This one has information on it as well. Uh, let me see if I can get that to show all the way on the screen. Just come down here. There it is. Um, these are you know these this it has like the text at the bottom. Um, that that I that I've kind of come up with for each each um, each uh, royal item is going to have that, and <coughs> it'll all have a it'll all have like an, a special uh, affix that'll kind of go with it that that'll give it um, some some specific ability. But then that text at the very bottom is is like it, it's it's personalized text. It it kind of talks about the item or uh, says a little something about the item. Um, the royals are the only ones that are, that are going to actually have that. The, the um, all the others are not going to have that special text. 
So now I am going to uh, click the restart button, and I'm going to go back in here, and let's see, close this, and let's see if I can open some more chests here, and sorry about that notification, and I really want to find the actual um, other royal items. There's a royal offhand, supernova. So that's going to be another one. That's going to be an offhand that. Um, that I, I haven't really finished all the text on it, so it wasn't there. Um, another commons. <coughs> Oops. And let's see. Commons. And as you can see, I mean, all the chests work really well. The randomization of the items is, is, is not too bad. And I haven't really even done a whole lot of work with that yet. I've just been checking... Like they're all set to a pretty basic randomization system right now, and I was gonna really refine that, make it, make it a lot more complex. Um, and again, when I finally finish it, last hope of souls again. When I finally do finish it, it's gonna actually have um, the randomization of all the stats that are on it. So all these blanks will be filled in with randomized stats and things um, from an actual list, uh, like an array of of item listed uh, text and uh, different abilities and things that, that you would gain from them. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, maybe we can get a couple more um, of the of the good items here. I know there's a few more that you haven't seen yet, or that I haven't, hasn't, haven't popped up. And I'm hoping it'll kind of pop them up. Let's see. I mean, I can always go turn the, the drop rate up if I need to. Put that to, uh, like, um, you know, 100%. It'll drop a, a it'll drop a rare or a royal every every time. Oh, here's a bow. There we go. There's razor wind. So that's that's gonna be a royal bow that can be obtained. Um, and so that's that's one of my favorite ones actually. Um, <coughs> and the stats again are not set up on it. So I was I would like to show you all the all the cool stats for each. Each item, I just haven't had time to go through and really type in all the documentation for it. It's, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of, of, of sitting there and just tediously going through and adding all the details. Um, so when I get that set up, there is a new one, Tender Guard. Tender Guard is still typed wrong, and it's spelled wrong, but um, I just haven't had time to go back and fix that. Um, and it's not set up completely either. But um, for testing purposes, I kind of just left it with what I had. I didn't really feel like going back and doing more work on it right now, since I was mostly trying to get the whole process of of the drop dropping system set up correctly, so it would, um, you know, recognize all the uh, the information and and put it out there. Um, so we've got royal daggers. There's another one. Time slicers. These are actually going to be another specific item that um, again doesn't have any documentation on here. But uh, it will. There's a couple more. I think there's there's two more actually that haven't been shown yet uh, of the of the royal items. So I'm gonna just do this one more time and see if I can get them to drop. I don't know if it will, but this time I'm gonna go really fast and just run through and um, click on them all. And I have that functionality now to where if I click on a chest from a distance, as soon as the guy gets there, he'll actually open them or open the chest. Uh, the royal boots don't have a name because that's an actually a new one too. The royal boots, or maybe that one was already shown, but they don't have a name because the information isn't typed in yet. Uh, the mace, that's the same one. Um, where is? Let's keep going. Now I'm, next, I'm gonna add a I'm gonna add a button that allows me to go faster, like dashing through the the world here. I can already do that. A teleport. I should should easily program that in. Um, okay, chest go, grab that one, grab this one. Ooh, it doesn't want to drop me yet. I'm hoping I can get the other two. There's a shield and a staff, and I wanted to show them off. They don't have any information really either, but it's just, it would be nice to show them off. Um, not pants. Um, and, of course there's other hel- I think there's a helmet too, but those don't have any information either. Uh, but they don't even have- a name. So uh, the only ones that have the only other two that have names are the staff and the and the um, shield. But I don't think they're going to drop. It doesn't look like it. My drop rate's not high enough to get them to drop. There's the staff. Sunflare. 
So that's going to be a royal staff that'll be available, and hopefully it will be, uh, once I get it set up, it's going to probably drop for, like, the mage or the wizard, whatever it is, and it will be a uh, intelligence-based item with, um, with uh, you know, for basically for ranged characters that would cast. And then we got two more chests down here. We're going to call it right after that, or maybe there's one more over here. Yeah, we got one more down there. And that's crap. And then we'll go to this one. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to get the shield. Nope. So, that's fine. We don't need to see it. <coughs> It'll always be... Uh, I can always make another video later once I get more of this functionality in and stuff. So Anyway, um, so yeah, that's... Uh, again, that's a look at uh, my, my basic uh, uh, progress here. And seeing the new items. Oh, there's another chest. I must have missed this one. How the hell did I do that? That was crap. Does that mean that I missed others? Hmm, let's go look around. Maybe there's something else I missed. I don't think so, though. Pretty sure I got them all. That one I know. There's nothing else in that, that area. I don't think I missed any. I'm pretty sure I did not miss any other ones down here. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so, because there was only one there. One here... Yep, that's it. And yeah, that's the beginning. So, okay. Alright, well, uh, again, thanks for watching, and um, I hope you guys are enjoying my little video progress, uh, my progress videos, and um, I'll uh, try to keep you guys updated if I do some more work on it, and um, finish adding actual, like, item stats on all these. Like, that's the next thing I'm going to do, is sit down and really just create the, um, the lists, lists of items. Um, you know, lots, lots of different items. That way, uh, I can really start testing the g uh, random generation of populating the tooltips with different stats. So I gotta like, I gotta create lists of items and then lists of stats. So I gotta make a list of probably 50 different stats that can be pulled in at random and put into uh, the five different slots that each of these items have. And so. <coughs> Um, basically, <coughs> basically the, um, once I get all the stats set up and the naming done and all that, it'll be pretty cool. But, um, there's a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of naming to do. Like, that's going to take time just to come up with names, come up with stat, or come up with, um, like for the royals, I have to come up with a name and then I have to come up with the affix that it does, some kind of ability it has, and then the, the, the lore text, which is what I call it, the text that's at the very bottom. Um, and, uh, so it's just a, it's just a long process of sitting down and working and working and working and working on it. Alright then, um, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.